Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie Kemp and I am from Toronto, Canada. Well, actually Saskatchewan, but live in Toronto now and having a great time. So um, today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. This has been super highly requested. So it is a hair tutorial. You guys either read it up there or down there, or wherever you guys read it, but you read it somewhere and that's why you're here. So welcome. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the Carrie Camp, just like this. Or I just started doing TikTok. <sighs> I'm old and learning TikTok, but you can follow me there at Carrie underscore Kemp, just like this. Um, my first video had like right now it's like at over like 17,000 watches or something like that. So it's kind of blowing my mind. I'm not gonna lie. TikTok, I tell ya. Who would have thought Carrie Camp would be on TikTok? Not me. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the hair. So basically what I did was I just blow dried my hair. Um, this is my hair blow dried. Yay, fun. And then um, I'm doing straightener curls. These are like everyday kind of curls. It's kind of my go-to curl when I need like a quick, fast, cute curl. I do the straightener curls. So what to look for in a straightener when you are doing straightener curls is I personally like a round head. So you can see that this has like a circular top and a circular bottom. So you definitely want it to be more circular for curls. If you have it more flat, I've noticed, um, I actually used to have like one that was like just super flat. It didn't have like an arch to it. Um, and I noticed that the curls weren't as like voluminous I guess they were more like boxy in a sense especially at the top when you first started um, to like go down uh, the your hair it just like started really boxy and so that's why I got this it also has like if you notice it has like a little bit of room and it's kind of like curved on the flat iron part as well so that's something that I personally like and also, I really like the swiveled uh, base. So um, I can like curl it as many times as possible and it won't get all tangled up and uh, wrapped around my hand or something. So those are all things that I personally look for in a straightener. Um, lucky for me, my grandma is was a hairdresser. She's retired now, but I think she still does it every once in a while. She does people's hair. Um, and so she always takes me to the supplier store and bless her soul, I love you, grandma. Um, yeah, and so she, she's, I've gone through a few straighteners in my time and curling irons and wands and blow dryers and all this stuff, but, uh, that's why I can give you guys tips on what to look for because I've tried a lot. So this one is my personal favorite right now. Um, again, this is probably like at least five years old, like at least definitely more than five years old um i'm just trying to like think of like when i bought it which house i was in and like the house that we have in saskatchewan we have we've had that for five years now and it was before that so at least five years um so basically i really like this paul mitchell neuro i actually have a wand set um in this brand as well that i really like Obviously, I really like it. This is unsponsored. I'm not given any of these products. I bought them with my own money. So um, this is just my personal favorite. So basically what I do is I turn it on and depending on like how fast you can do it and um, how much heat, uh, like the more heat the curlier your hair will get, the less heat the, the waves will just be lighter and they'll fall a lot easier. Um, for my hair anyway. My hair doesn't typically hold uh, curl very well, so I have to do it properly, uh, or like this is just the way that I've been doing it. I I have a lot of hair, but it's very thin, so, um, so it doesn't like to hold curl very well. <laughs> so right now it's at 360. I'm gonna pump it right up to 450, that 450 Fahrenheit. This is like what the professionals do. I'm not a professional, but um, I've been doing it a long time. And so 
that's what I'm gonna do. So while that's heating up, and it takes like no time at all to heat up, like it's already at 434. Like it's crazy. It's gonna be done in like two seconds here. So that's another thing that I really like about it. Okay, so what I do is I will do my hair in like three sections. So the bottom section, the middle section, and then the top. The bottom section isn't as important uh, of like curls per se. Um, it's just kind of like they're just there. It's more like the middle and especially the top that are really, are. it's what you're gonna see over everything else. So the bottom is just like, there you still curl it because that would be weird just having a, a straight layer but so I grab about an inch that's about an inch of hair and it is already heated up I'm gonna back up a little bit here and so okay you open it up and then what this is my left side so when you're um, putting it on your hair you're going to roll away from your face. So on your left side, you are gonna roll counterclockwise. So you put it on, and then you're gonna wrap it quick, and then you're gonna pull it through. So let's see if I can do this. I don't even have a mirror. I'm literally using the viewfinder, so I really hope that this is good. <laughs> and then you have your first curl. I don't even know if I got it all, but that's okay. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. <laughs> all right. So let's do that again. Again, I'm gonna use my viewfinder because I, I feel like I did okay there. So again, about an inch of hair. And the faster you pull, the looser the curls. The slower you pull, the tighter the curls. So this time, I'm gonna go a little bit slower just because it's the bottom, so it's not as crucial. Pull it and I twist so that it's all the way around and I'm going nice and slow and you're definitely gonna see a difference in curl. So you see the difference how this one is a little bit tighter than this one, this one's nice and loose and this one is quite tight. And then this last piece is about an inch, make sure I have all the hairs. I've never done this without a mirror. This is so crazy. I'm like, what am I doing? All right, so you put it in, and I'm gonna go nice and fast just to show you. So there's a quicker one. So the loosest was the quick, tightest was nice and slow, and then, which is right there, and then this was the first one. So I'm gonna do, go over this one one more time because that curl is just not gonna stay on my head. I usually go and like, I don't know how to like tell you how fast or how slow to go. It's just like trial and error. Just keep on trying it mm -hmm. and eventually you will get it, I promise. So you see like the difference of length and how much length it takes off your hair too. So that's one thing to note when you're getting extensions and stuff, or when you're cutting your hair. If you want like a length and the hair's curly, you probably want it to be a little bit longer. All right, so this side. So this time you're gonna be turning clockwise because you are on the right side of your head. So basically put it on, turn it so that it's all the way. And then I always, see how there's that gap there? I always like to have like a little bit of a gap and I'm going to show you why actually. So there's, this side always curls so nicely. It's like my good side, it likes to, to do what I want it to do. So now I'm going to show you it when there is no gap. Alright, so we're going to just like pull it so that there is no gap. You're going to see a different type of curl. See how it's like quite tight? And the... Okay.
Let's see if I can do this for you guys. Okay, so here is one curl and here is another. So this one, the hairs you can see are like lined up a little bit here. They like are tighter and they, they kind of like overlap in a sense. Whereas this curl is just like, it. I like the ringlet of this a lot more. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference or not, but the ringlet of the one where you left a gap or where I left a gap is a lot nicer in my opinion. They are both, they will both curl your hair and all of that kind of stuff. But once you like start combing out your hair and stuff, it, it just, it looks a lot more natural, I guess. Ugh. I might need a mirror. Oof, that's a bad one. Okay. All right, let's see. So there's that little gap. There. So that is the bottom. And I just leave it to cool and I go on to the next one. So the next layer. I usually leave about an inch around my the crown um, and like the top of the head so I so like here's the center, about an inch on either side, and then all the way back. Just so that you can get those top curls perfect. And you want them to be a little bit more curly, just so that when you start playing with it, the curls don't fade out like they're going to in the bottom. You'll see all of that in a second. All right, so I brought a quick mirror just so that I can like double check to make sure all the hairs are good. So if I'm looking over there, it's cause that's where I put the mirror. <laughs> All right, so I do have like little baby pieces along here and a lot of people might. So just leave those out until the end and we're gonna perfect those as well later on. All right, so another inch. And this one you just go a little bit slower. So you wrap it around, you see that little, and again, this is counterclockwise. You see the little gap there. What a beautiful, beautiful curl that is. She is stunning. Grab it, wrap it around. A little bit slower. Takes about 10 seconds, 10 Mississippis. I'm like one, two, three, all the way down to up to 10, because so this one doesn't take long at all just because this middle one is typically nice and thin this side is a little bit longer because I always part my hair and so there's more hair over here so again take it wrap it one two three four five six seven eight nine between nine and ten, depending on how fast you count and all that kind of stuff. But that's what I do, is I just count it and make sure that I'm going at an appropriate speed. And again, I could say this 500 million times. It is all about practice. Practice, practice, practice. Again, on this side of your head, you are turning it... clockwise and just pulling it through making sure there is that beautiful beautiful ring like that and because this one wasn't as thick so the more hair that you grab the longer you have to keep it on uh, the strainer on your hair because it needs to get the heat to all of the hair strands, right? So if you grab like a big, if I were to grab all of this and try to curl it as fast as I'm curling it, like some of it's going to curl and then some of it's just going to be like, <laughs> you think you got me. Mm -mm. 
That's exactly what my hair says to me. It's like, nope, not today, Carrie. Not today. All right, so I've already parted my hair to where I want it to be parted. I'm gonna zoom it back out just so you guys can kind of see everything going on here now. All right, so you still have, I still have this strand here and it's gonna be the same. No, I already curled that one. That's okay. You can always go in after. So this one, it's your top hair. So you're gonna be playing with it quite a bit. So I would recommend a tighter curl again. Beauty. You could also just grab less hair and pull it through all the same amount of time. Um, sometimes I go thicker and it gives like a nice natural beachy wave. Um, it's kind of like a kinder surprise. Every day that I go to do this, it's like, What's my hair going to do today? Oh, I didn't even get all of this. Okay, let's do this one. It's like at the back in the bottom. But yeah, if, if a hair piece didn't hold the curl, you can always go back and redo it. But just remember that um, the longer, like if you go back and redo it, the longer uh, you hold the heat on your hair, the more curl it's going to get because it's already technically been curled once. If it hasn't been curled at all, do it like you normally would. But I would just be careful. So like I'm going to show you this one because I want this strand curled. And I want them to be curling the same. So it's going to curl more. So then when I get to the bottom, I just go nice and fast. You have that beautiful curl. Beauty. I think I got all of that. And then we go to this side. Alrighty. And I always start at the back and work my way forward. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna show you this nice big chunky piece. And because I just wanna show you guys what so this is nice and big and chunky. So I'm going to go nice and slowly. See how it's like a looser curl than when I grab like a smaller strand. So I'm gonna grab a smaller strand here. So I'm showing you guys a bunch of different curls. I typically keep it consistent. But just for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you that, see how it's like curling up here as opposed to this one? Starts curling a little bit further down and it is a looser curl as opposed to this one is nice and tight. You, you can honestly see the difference in person a lot more than I'm sure that you can right now on camera. And then with your bangs, if you have bangs, I typically curl them a little bit different as well. I hold it and I go a little bit faster just because I want like a nice loose kind of fun curl. So I'll like play with it quite a bit. So I'll like let it sit there for a second. And then always remember to shut your straightener off when you are done. See how because I played with it right away, the curls just kind of like open quite a bit. And then you can always twist it with your finger to get it to be a little bit more curly again. All right, so now I'm gonna go in just with your fingers, nice and light.
Good stuff, coast is clear. So now that you have these beautiful light waves, um, you could either leave it like this, this looks great, I like the look of this, or you could backcomb it, which is what I always do, because I like the volume. So um, I'm gonna use Big Sexy Hair. Uh, this is a super, 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 super thick uh, hairspray. It holds like crazy, but um, like you can't put any heat on your hair after you've put this on because it will fry it right off. Like it is such good hairspray for like back combing and stuff because once it's in there, it is in there and you don't really want to touch it until you have either like brushed it out or um, you've washed your hair or something because that is how good, like this is a professional grade hairspray so if you are going to use this big sexy hair, I highly, highly, highly recommend not putting any um, heat on it afterwards because it will damage your hair, I promise. So when it comes to back combing, what I do is I find my crown <laughs> with my thumbs and I just go around it. So I just find my crown, go around it, and I grab about this much hair. I don't do a whole lot of back combing because I have to wash my hair every day that I go to the gym at least, which is pretty much every day. Um, so there you have that much hair. You take your hairspray, spray it at the root, and you just back comb the root. And then I always go up a little bit and then take the pick, grab about an inch, and then I don't even use hairspray at this point because um, I don't want to, I don't like to put a whole lot of product and stuff in my hair. I want it to be as natural as possible, um, just like giving it a little bit of volume and my hair will fall, uh, even with it being back home this much. So first layer, give it a little spray and back home. And because um, you're using the hairspray at the root, uh, I would recommend, like, you would be able to, like, touch up a couple curls afterwards. This is where, like, most of my hair is, so I don't put any um, hairspray. I will just back comb, and it will stay fairly fluffy. So you just go, and you see how there's, like, this little bump, and you can see that there is some spots that just need to be back combed a little bit. Not much. Just to give you like a cute little bump. This is really hard doing this when you're like looking down because you can't really see how much back combing needs to be done yet. <laughs> when you're like up straight in, uh, in a mirror, it's like you can see it perfectly. Whereas like here you're like looking down. So I don't even know if I have it right, but for the most part, that's what I do. And then if you need to curl some ends, because you haven't put any product on your ends yet, you can curl uh, just the ends or whatever, just make them look a little bit better. I'm gonna quickly go check my back combing skills in a standing up mirror. All right, so I just had to add a little bit more back combing right here, just because there isn't a lot of hair here, so I like to give as much volume as possible. But then I take my hairspray, I can actually see the looser curl, so this is where I grabbed that really thick piece of hair and I curled it. This is what it looks like afterwards. This is gonna fall straight, pretty much, um, in a little bit, but that's okay because I'm not really doing much today. Whereas like this side, I really took my time, grabbed smaller chunks, and this is what it looks like, and it will fall to be looking like this in a couple of hours, which I love this look. I just wish it stayed, because it doesn't stay. But yeah, this is kind of the look. Now what I do is I take the hairspray, and I spray the top, and then I grab it, lift it up, and spray. Grab it, lift it up, and spray. 
lift it up, spray the bottom, lift it up, spray the bottom. Do the same for the other side, grab it at about the root, lift it up, spray, lift it up, spray, lift it up, lift it up. So now you have natural volume without backcombing the ends. You can always like pull it apart just like that, but there you have it. This is just like an everyday, this is the carry go to 20 minutes. It literally takes me no time at all. Um, once you get used to the straightener curls, it's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Get off, get in, get off, get out, I think Scott says. <laughs> so um, this is it. If you like it, if you like these videos, if you want me to do more hair tutorials, let me know down below. It has been super highly requested. So um, if you're liking these looks, I could always probably do them on Fridays when I go into your big sister's closet, just kind of throw on the camera. I need to figure out the mirror portion of it so that I'm not always like this and I can be like this. But uh, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like my curls. I'll get nice and close for you. Hopefully you can see them nice. The screen is fairly dark and so like I'm still getting used to this camera. And so um, when I get it onto like my laptop, I'm like, oh, it actually turned out pretty good. Or, oh my goodness, that's too dark. Like my last video was like super dark and I was so disappointed, so I'm so sorry. But uh, I will get the hang of this camera one day. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'm sending so much love to each and every one of you guys. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I, I truly do appreciate it. And I love you guys. Every single one. A few. Okay. I'm going to go now. Bye.